Okay, hello YouTube, I'm back. Um, this time we're going to leave everything and go to uh, Fountain Peaks, as I said last time. Which is basically a water-based uh, town, you could say. It was originally created by me and designed by me. And then in the last month, or, well in the last couple of months, uh, a couple of friends on my server have basically joined in and helped. So yeah, let's get out this minecart and now that we're here we'll go have a look. What the hell's making? There we go. Oh damn it. Uh, so one. There we go. Right. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, it's just sort of a waterfall based area. Stop flying. Stop flying. There we go. Right. Um, I got two minecarts from that. You can probably see that it's water based, as I said. Um, and I basically just started off with this little valley, and there was sort of a hill here that was pretty much flat. And I just sort of helped. I put it three blocks high and then flattened it out a lot more. And I ended up with this little area where I could build a nice castle. As you, well, it might have been a bit more than three blocks, but it was this height, or one block lower. Um, and basically, I've just sort of created from that. Um, as you can see, there's a little sort of chest area, I don't know, dispensary, whatever you want to call it. I'm lagging at the moment, I think the server might just be, you know, being overused. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of plugins, as you can probably see. Voxel Snipe, Permissions, Magic Carpet, Remote Bucket, Essentials, which is a resource hog and world edit. Um, 1.8 selfs a resource hog anyway using about half a gig of RAM non-stop. Um, as you can see, it's just a little chest area. And then if we go over here, this is the mines, east and west mine. Uh, they're just identical, really. you got your little... It just keep going down, as I showed a couple of friends the other day. Like, the next layer down would be... So, you've got it like that. And then go down to there. And then, obviously, down to the next one. Basically, it's a stairway down to the bottom floor of the world. Um, and then you just sort of have it so that it was two blocks wide, one block, and then mine out the rest all the way down like that. But yeah, without any more mining. It's just going to be the same on the other side if I ever get it finished. But, you know. Um, over here, we've got the upstairs. Which, oh, it's night time. Slash time day. I just got the upstairs. Uh, in the background, you can see one of the roller coasters going over, and the if I put it slash time night doesn't really give off much light, but you can probably see that there's sort of a beacon. So that if you're miles away, you can sort of see a light. But anyway, you can the whole area is pretty much a beacon anyway. What the hell is that? Oh, I know what that is. Never mind. Um, but yeah, let's land on the beacon. Ah, I'm on fire. So yeah, let's go back downstairs and set to uh, day, not night. Weird glitching run. Um, over this way you got the dining room and the bedrooms for the servants. Servants' quarters. Um, as you can see, there's hay for them to... well, grass for them to sleep on in the corner. Uh, it's not being done in this room. Uh, let's see, slash, I said grass. I'm gonna make that one cobblestone. I'm so kind, I even give I I even make them into a nice fetal position shape. Now we close the doors for their privacy. Of course they're imaginary, but you know. We're perfectly sane. Um speaking as myself as we. Uh, you got your bookcases, and this is the dining room here. Fairly simple chairs, just a set of stairs. <laughs> um bookcases in the corners. That was gonna be a secret room originally, but I decided against it and I never got around to finishing it. Ah, John Smith, you need to fix the weird texture on the top of that. Down here, it's just the where the servants bring up food. These bookshelves are basically supposed to be a worktop corner area. You know, the cookery books and that sort of thing. Uh, that's just the downstairs entrance. Um, yeah, that comes out there. I'll talk about the sort of design behind this in a second. Down here, we've got just a sort of outwards tunnel, I suppose. It's a bit of an escapee tunnel. It, that comes out from a what uh, one of the waterfalls. That's the centre waterfall. And then over here, this is the swimming pool waterfall, which will take a while to get up. It's 
Sprint. Sprint. <laughs> Sprint, goddammit. Another weird animation, even though I'm not going very fast. Ah, well. You can see this comes out from underneath. The uh, sw public swimming pool, you could call it. Um, I just put... I need to change that glass, really, so that it's uh, stone or something. Tell you what, change it to... Uh, set iron block. Uh, set iron block. There we go. And now it looks like bubbles coming up from the floor, even though you can hear the fire. Um, and out here we've got another little house that's for sale. It's for Whoa! I forgot compasses did that. If I go down... No, down! Where am I? Right, inside this house. Um, you've got a couple of nice little rooms, you know, you got your fire in the furnace room. And that leads through to this little table area that Base Pro built when he was on here. Um, basically goes in a big circle. Um, my voice is getting hoarse now, I've been talking for a while today. Um, up there, upstairs. Uh, yeah, it's fairly simple medieval design. Seeing as though most places on this server are medieval. Retarded chests, because that one's turned itself. Um, now if we go upstairs again, you're up to this floor. One of those tables, and then if we go upstairs to the top, you're on an overlooking area, which is this is the tallest building of, uh, in the main area, apart from that one over there. But that's risen up. Um, I wouldn't like to live here in real life because obviously you've got the railway for roller coasters coming past <laughs> every couple of minutes. If it was a real theme park, because I'd be dead stood on here. Um, right, let's go back down. Now, the originally all of these floors were cobblestone, as everything is, the town not as in everything, um, and you can see like all the building is cobblestone. But I thought it was a bit bland, and in 1.8, Notch brought out a well, Mojang brought out a new block called Stone Bricks, and in John Smith's text pack it looks like cobblestones, even though that's like more stone bricks. So I just used that because the bricks were a bit bigger. Um, and it just I think it looks more like a path. And then, obviously, like everything, we put sort of grass, wild grass. We decided against trees, though, because, obviously, we want it to be, sort of feel open and not be too cluttered. So, yeah. Um, this is my house. This, oh yeah, that was the way down before, when we walked past it. This is my house, it's behind a waterfall. It was the proper first house I built. Obviously, the castle's not a house. Uh, you've got your crafting room. Uh, you know, just my fridge and all that. This first is actually set on fire three times now, because, well, it's flooded four times and set on fire three, because when I was building the fire, we were going through a stage where the server was handling too much for itself, so all of this was sort of, you know, it was a bit laggy, so I'd place a block, um, and set the fire, but then that block would disappear and the fire would go whoosh, it'd like freeze lag, and then I'd turn around and all of this would be gone and it'd flood. Um, and the extra flood was just when I accidentally knocked out the wall um, <laughs> with world edit. I've got my bed, you know, the notches on it, which is just a little humor thing. My chest. Uh, it says locked, but it's it's not because we don't have lock out anymore. General fire and all that, as I said. Got your bookshelves. Um, I think, yep. Yeah. If I knock out the bookshelves, you've still got this little secret path in a Jack's house. And if you go all the way down there, if I will do, uh, you got your nether portal, but the nether's disabled because for some reason if we go into a nether portal, um, it basically breaks the server. Like, it just we come out in this giant area of blackness. I'm not being racist there, but we really do. Where am I? Ah, oh, there we are. Right, so we'll go down here. Um, I should probably fix the bookcase, to be fair. So, let's see. Slash slash set bookshelf or oh, books are health. One second, I've got a wire over my keyboard, so don't blame me. There we go. Right, um, that's pretty much it for this house. If we go back outside, the grass has never actually grown on there really. Like we've got one spot, and that's taken about five months to grow. I uh, got the stairs upstairs. Up, well, up here. Got Jack's farm and have the new fence gate with all the flowers and that. 
I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he changed that to melons. That boy has a strange obsession with melons. And that sounded wrong. Um, inside his house, it hasn't been decorated. He's got the downstairs, which was the area over there, which comes out into my house, if you break the bookshelf. Because I was going to make it into a piston door, but never got round to it. Um, up here, we have... Well, it's a water fountain, basically. Um, if I hop up, you get to see... Uh, there's water. Um, <laughs> stating the obvious. And that sort of... I'll show you outside in a minute. Or now even. The, that comes out over... Down in that pond you can't see from here. We'll go upstairs. Um, so yeah, let's go up here. There we go. It's always bugged me. Never got around to fixing it. Don't tell Jack that. Um, but yeah, you can see the water fountain. just goes down here. Um, this... I was, well, if I enable animals on the server, it just becomes squid infested. It's insane. Like, literally, about 50, maybe 60 squid spawn there. And that's no exaggeration. I'm being serious. Um, and up here we got the farm, which was originally by me and Bradley. Bradley built the waterfall. Um, cactus and mushroom farm. But, obviously, mushrooms got a bit out of hand. And they've now invaded there. Um... <laughs> Simple cactus farm Bradley made, you know, they can't get up there, they drop off, but it's very flawed, no offence to him. Then we got this little area here, which is the sugarcane farm, as you can see. It just goes in a very sort of spiral motion all the way around, so that's pretty decent, and it looks good. Um, then we've got the wheat farm up here, which was mine and Bradley's, well, the whole farm was mine and Bradley's design. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And at that time we didn't know that you could actually have these as dirt and the water would be fine. But yeah, anyway. So there's the wheat farm, the sugar cane. If I go around the edge, we'll go to the tree farm, which I built. Um, I mean, I basically started it, and then Bradley stopped coming on the server and got his own. So yeah, I finished it off with Jack. Um, it's just very simple, same trees, We use, they just grow. <laughs> Over here we've got the, uh, I think this is cactus farm that I built. Yeah, as you can see, you press the button, and that gives you cactus. The idea behind it is, oh, there's a couple more. They, if I break through here, you'll be able to see that if I press the button, or break the button, oh, I'm sick of doing that now. Um, <laughs> if I press the button, 